Scar, look at all the pit. Look, there's a squirrel. Look, Scar. Scar, look at that little squirrel. Look. Wow. Shall we name the squirrel? What would you name it? Um, I don't know. He's well cute. Look. I love squirrels, don't you? <laughs> oh, look at him. Her. Oh. Squirrel. Ladies and gentlemen, I am having a beautiful afternoon with my daughter Star, and me and Star love animals. Me and Star have always loved animals, don't we, Star? Why have we always loved animals so much? There's something about them, isn't there? They're just so much easier than people. And do you know what I like about you, Star? Ever since you was born, you've always loved animals. You've always been a voice for them, especially cats. I remember when you was about six or seven that a cat scratched your face so much it made it bleed. Do you remember? And it, and it scratched me along the neck, yeah. And you was like, I don't care, you love animals, remember? So my daughter and me love animals. And what is our message to everybody, Star? Treat animals like you would treat people. No, because see how people treat people these days? Yeah, how about we treat animals as importantly as animals are? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So a message from me and my daughter it's for you to treat animals. No, what did you say? I like the way you said it. Can you say it your way again? Because it's always my way. Treat animals how you treat people. With respect. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So you decided it from my wonderful daughter, Star. Treat animals... Like you would treat people. Like you would treat people. Or like you're meant to treat people. Hello, mate. <laughs> and so there you go. So treat animals like you're, you would treat people. Yep. I love you. Mwah. And I love all of you. Treat animals how you would treat people. You've heard it. Shine on. Oh, can we hear that? Can we go and hear that voice? Wow.